Hey, so you're thinking of moving to Eugene, Oregon, and you want to know a little bit more about the different areas of town. Today we're going to be going over South Eugene, and we're going to be starting here at South Eugene High School. Then we're going to go to a shopping center, as well as some activities, a pool, neighborhood park, jogging path, stuff like that. We're also going to go through a few houses so you can see what the real estate is like. And all the while, I'm going to give you some pros and cons of living in South Eugene. So here at the high school, this is actually an A, A plus rating high school. I'll put some links down below so you can see for yourself some of the facts on it. And right, at, right after this, we're gonna go to the back of the school where all the athletics are. Really wanna show you guys some of that. I'm super into athletics and they have some great facilities here at the high school. Hey, so here we are, we're in the back of the school now at the soccer field, football field. I was a soccer guy myself, so I played lots of games here. Great time. This field's been newly done. You probably can't tell in the video, but brand new turf, looks great. We're gonna head over to the track and I'm gonna show you the football, or excuse me, the baseball fields, softball fields, and volleyball courts. Eugene also doesn't have any suburbs, such as somewhere like Dallas. Eugene is kind of all just connected together. And yeah, it's pretty close to get anywhere. You can even get to the airport 20 minutes from anywhere in town. So here's the track. I also did track in high school as well as decathlon in college. So I would practice here some. And over here is the softball field, baseball fields. And here's the old volleyball courts. You can, you can kind of see over on the other side of the stands right there, the new sand volleyball courts. I also do some city uh, sand volleyball. So we have games over there. It's also for the high school. Hey, we just drove from the high school over here. We're at Amazon Pool and Park and just wanted to show you guys the pool here. It's super great for families coming out, have a great day at the pool. They got slides, diving boards, a platform, super fun. Also, I mentioned earlier that I was gonna give you some pros and cons about South Eugene. So we'll start with the pro. You can see right over here, there's a bike trail as well as a little bit further, there's a walking path. So the walking path is all bark mulch, so it's really light on the knees and it connects all of South Eugene. So you can hop on it up in the neighborhoods in further South Eugene and take that trail into town a little bit more to Amazon pool, shopping centers, wherever you need to go. And the con I'm gonna mention is the pollen count. The pollen count here gets quite high in the summers. I'll add some links so you can see. Hey all, here we are, we're at a neighborhood park in South Eugene. Just wanted to show you kind of the amenities here. You can see there's a play structure over there. Huge area, there's some older baseball fields over there. And it's probably about 200 yards to the end of the park. So tons of space. Just wanted to show you guys some of the local shopping areas. So right behind me, we have Market of Choice. It's a local grocery store. They really focus on natural foods, organic foods. It's really similar to a Whole Foods chain. That's what I'd associate it with. Next, I just wanna draw your attention to some of the shops around here. A lot of good places to eat, smaller places. And then you have some of your bigger stores such as PetSmart, a big Five, and then there's even a US Bank over there. Pretty simple but a lot of just healthy options of food to eat as well as shopping. And this is really close to the center of South Eugene. Pretty much from any South Eugene neighborhood, you can get to this spot probably within under 10 minutes. Hey guys, here we are. We're at the first house I'm gonna show you today. This is just about a mile and a half away from the shopping center that I showed you guys a little bit earlier. So this house was actually built in 1938 and we're gonna start in the main residence, then go over to the secondary for guests and whatnot. So follow me. All right, let's come inside. So right when you come in, you have your living room space, and there's a few living room spaces. This is just the first one. We're gonna head over to the kitchen now, and then we're gonna go upstairs, downstairs, and then to the guest room. So again, this could be the formal dining room here. There's a brief look at the kitchen. 
you can head in here and then I'll show you. There's a small cooking space outside as well for entertaining guests. Just to point your attention to a few things, you have the brick. And we're back at the stairs at the front door. We're gonna start at the downstairs bedroom and then head upstairs to the primary and the other rooms. So, all the way here, we have a full bathroom and the first bedroom. And you can see hardwood floors and pretty standard for an older home. You have the wainscoting on the side of the walls. Looks really good. So this house is actually a four bedroom, five bathroom at about 2,800 square feet. And it's actually priced just a little over 800,000. So up the stairs, immediately to your right, you have a small powder room. And then we'll hit the bedrooms. Here's the first bedroom. And then here's another bedroom. And what I like about this bedroom is the view that you have. And over there you can see some people walking their dogs. That's actually a dog park right across the street for you. So if you have dogs, great place to let them roam. All right, let's check out the primary now. So you have the same hardwood floors. We'll look at the bathroom first. You have a walk-in shower, nice counter space, bathtub. Also just pointing your attention, the trim around the doors is all original. Very good condition. Then we also have a walk-in closet here to the side. Lots of space in there. So let's head out. You have a walk-out patio. Very spacious. So whenever you wake up, you can have your mornings out here, come out, have some coffee, read a book. And the nice thing about this place is that you're pretty secluded. You don't have any neighbors staring over into your yard. So you can take a look. You can't see any neighbors from here. It's all blocked off with natural shrubs and trees. All right, now after the upstairs, we're gonna check out the basement. Usually all homes built in this time period are gonna have a basement. So let's check it out. So down here, there's not a ton to see, but I'll show you it anyways, just so you can see. They actually put drywall in to make it a bit nicer. They have a bunch of cabinet space down here extra fridge and over here you can peek in here just a little washer dryer and then in the other spaces over here there's a, a workbench just some extra space for whatever little things you want to do all right let's go check out the guest room all right now to the guest room So here we are, we're at the guest room, and this is completely separate from the main house. You have bathroom, shower, sink, everything there, and right behind the door is the washer dryer. Then over here, you have your own heating AC, full, fully functioning kitchen with stove top, sink, refrigerator, all that, and then just a simple bedroom. So right after this, we're gonna head to the next property. So we're at the next property, and you can see we're kind of in the forest right now. This property is situated on about 1.2 acres, which is not very common for homes in South Eugene. Most of the time, they've already been subdivided out, so pretty unique here. But this was built in 2021 by a custom homes builder, and he actually built it for himself and has since decided to sell it, and it's quite nice. So we'll head inside. Right, we're going to start out here. And as we go through, I'm gonna point out details because this is a detailed house built by a custom builder. So the wood accent on the outside. And we'll head straight in. You have the engineered hardwood floors that actually go throughout the home. And we'll 
step right into the living area. You have built-in bookshelf here, views of the trees and stuff. That's all your property as well on this home. Wood burning stove, and then straight to the kitchen. You have granite countertops, uh, appliances, alkaline. Very nice. So we're going to head straight to the primary. And you can see hardwood floors, engineered hardwood throughout the home. Double entrance into the bathroom. So follow me. You can see straight here, clear walk-in shower, plenty of space in there as well. Dual shower if you want to shower in there with your spouse. The, it's, the countertops right here are actually concrete. And then you have the toilet in here, separate with its own door as well as your walk-in closet. All right, now we're gonna head from the primary into the garage and the laundry room. Really nice tile work on the ground. You can see the sink here, washer dryer, and then a nice big garage. All right, let's head to the deck and then I'm gonna show you the bedrooms. You have a nice little deck here and then Nice view out the backyard. Definitely won't be having any neighbors peeking in. Here is the first bedroom. I'll let you take a quick look in. So we're gonna head up to the deck and then we're gonna check out the bedrooms. So yeah, nice little space here to relax with friends and great view of nature. So now we'll look at the bedrooms. Here's one of the one bedrooms. You can take a quick look in. It's not huge, but it's a nice little space for some kids if you're bringing kids along. And then we'll head back to the other bedroom. And what's nice about this house layout is the bedrooms are all separated from each other. So if you have guests, it makes it easier. You have a full bathroom right here, and then the last bedroom right here. Hey, and the last con I'll give is just a, on the housing market here. For the past few years, it's been a really big seller's market. So it's been a bit more difficult for buyers getting into homes. And as of recent, when interest rates have went up, it's been a lot easier for buyers to get into homes just due to less competition. And a lot of that is due to the, the lack of housing in Eugene. There's not that much new development You'll see here and there a new house being built in, for example, like this one. But the amount of developments coming in is somewhat limited. There's a few that are coming in here and there, but not enormous amounts. So that is a thing to keep in mind when thinking of making your move to Eugene, Oregon. And so that's the end of this video. If you're thinking of making a move to Eugene, Oregon, whether nine days or 90 days, feel free to hit me up, text, call, email, whatever's easiest for you. And I'd love to help you make a smooth move to Eugene, Oregon.